So in the video, yeah. for spend it. You got the money phone, right? Yeah. So how do you feel about the Jay Z line about you know? We don't call that money over here line. I, I feel like when he dropped that, a lot of people felt some type of way about it. I know. Jay-Z, man, Jay-Z in it bad right now, man. He can say whatever. But me personally, man, me coming from the struggle, me from me coming from then, shh, I got to cherish every dollar I get. You feel what I'm saying? I got to be happy with it. Cause you, you, people like you, y'all not you had it for a minute. You good? You feel what I'm saying? I'm from the hood, bro. I'm from the street, bro. You feel what I'm saying? We 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 hushing. You feel what I'm saying? We get our money a different way. You feel what I'm saying? And she, with people that be getting money, people that all of a sudden get money who ain't never had no money. Of course they go short, cause we ain't never had it. We ain't never had no money in our life. We ain't never had this type of money. And for us to have this type of money on us, and for and us to take care of people, we feel good and we want to cherish that. Cause at the same time, when y'all having money, y'all sitting right here flexing and y'all putting y'all money out and letting everybody know y'all having money too. So now we doing it, and now y'all straight, and y'all been doing it. Oh, and oh, no, oh, we ain't doing that no more. Nah, we want to flex up too, though. You want to look good? Fair enough. So, so Spend It comes out, and does it just start to blow up quickly? Spend It. Man, Spend It caught real quick. Spend It. It's simple. Who don't want to spend a check and get it back? Everybody related, though. I try to come out with relate music. That you gonna relate to, you feel what I'm saying? Before I go, they, they caught that real quick. Go get you some money, go and spend your check and get it right back, man. Okay, so then the remix comes out and it's got Young Thug and Young M.A. Yeah. Why Why those two? Um, Thug, you feel what I'm saying? I felt like, I, Thug, I always talking that money talk, you feel what I'm saying? And then I, I already appreciated him for the, the tour, you feel what I'm saying? And, and, and for just messing with me, you know what I mean? And that's the, and by that time, I went, you know, I don't, be, I don't be around a lot of artists anyway, you feel what I'm saying? I don't hang with a lot of rappers. I don't, I don't talk to a lot of rappers. I talk to, I talk to a few. And I don't got a lot of features with a lot of rappers. So I met with some, and I do, and I do song with song. And he wanted a song with songs, you feel what I'm saying? And so I, I, I put that together. I say, I want, I want my boy Thug on there. And, and the label put it together for me, you feel what I'm saying? And it turned okay, up. Okay, well, what about Young M.A.? I mean, the the, the thug thing kind of makes sense because you guys are both on 300 and everything. Uh -huh. You guys went on tour. But why Young M.A.? Young M.A., it was just one, like, I seen her show love to the song. I ain't going to lie. I seen her show love to the song. I seen the turned up to it. And I was like, and at that time, she had the um, other song going on too, though. And so we all had at the right time. You feel what I'm saying? I put that, I, I said, hey, okay, cool. I seen her turn on to her, I, I said, okay, hey, let's put her on that too. And then I ain't gonna lie, we was like, should we? You feel what I'm saying? But then again, I was like, yeah, it's good too, though, because nigga love her style, though, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, she's dope. Yeah. She's dope. One, one of the hardest man. females, really, ever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, M more ways than one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Isn't there another version of the song with Lil Wayne and 2 Chains? Yeah. Shout out to them too, though. So, so how did that happen? They most sort of jumped on it on their own. You feel me? They just, they just jumped on their own. You feel me? Yeah, I guess the song was hard enough. They just they ain't even asking me. They just said, hey, fuck it. They did it. But I ain't tripping. I, I appreciate them, though. You feel what I'm saying? They did their part and they turned up. Thank you. I mean, how did it feel to have Lil Wayne on your song? Because I, I assume, I just assume that you listened to Lil Wayne a lot growing up. What? You know, like yeah. we all did. Yeah. So, so suddenly this, this hip hop legend is rapping over your song. Like, how did that feel? I, I, blessing. Lost for words. Like, wow, my song. Me, you feel what I'm saying? Like I used to be on, I used to go on World Star Hip Hop and go on. I used to look at a lot of videos and just wish I would though. Just wish, you feel what I'm saying? And then sometimes when you look at videos, on when I look at videos, I be feeling like I'm there at them show with them. So just seeing that participation on my track that I made, man, that was I was like, 
I t- that was one of them self talk. I was like, damn, that ain't. But you, you really got something going. You feel me? Because I know these folk might not know me as a can of paint, but hey, man, these folk love my music. And that's all. And that, and that was about. That was about. Yeah. So, so that was just pretty much a freestyle. That, that never came out officially. No. I mean, they dropped it. You feel me? They did that on. Would they count? My count didn't do it. We ain't dropped it. Yeah. If we would have dropped it, it would have been a remix, but it wasn't an official remix because they dropped it. Okay, but you didn't want to, like, like you didn't want the label to go and just do the paperwork and actually have that as an official remix, also, because that that would have I mean, been a monster. I looked for it on Spotify, I couldn't we find. We could have, but they ain't they ain't reach out, they ain't let her know that. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all, they did the song, they just dropped it. So we, I feel like they could they, they could have reached out and we could have put something together. You feel what I'm saying? But if y'all want to drop it, okay, cool. I get they had had ball in their own hand. You feel me? But yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still a good look regardless. Yeah, man. You feel me? I appreciate it. Yeah. Always. So then you drop Dej Loaf. Yeah. Why Why name a song after a female rapper? I, I ain't gonna lie. I went straight in on that song. I went ball for ball. And then it was. I was going so crazy. I was just on so much subjects. I was talking about everything. And then so I just like, don't it. I know they ain't gonna. I know it ain't gonna put it on radio, cause it ain't got no. Ain't got no hook. You feel what I'm saying? So I said, "Don't we need a hook?" So I just need me an outstanding hook one time. And since though, so I said this. Um, I said like two bars with her name on it. And then it was her. I was like, "Man, yeah, man, put that low, cause that was the only girl I put on the song." So yeah, I said, "Okay, cool." Nitty had them chopped it up. I don't know how he did it, but I just went in there. And we were like, "Fool, we gonna say days low." So I went in there and said Dej Loaf and we just did the ball ball. I just went straight in. Have you reached out to Dej Loaf to jump on the remix? Nah, she uh Tell me, did I reach out to her? Yeah. No, nah, I ain't reached out to her. But she had to, um reached out though. She ain't reached out, but I heard her, I heard she liked the song though. Cause I had put it on my tweet. I had tweeted it and she liked it, so it was that was enough for me. You feel what I'm saying? I just wanted her to hear. You feel what I'm saying? As long as she heard, it, I was good with that. Yeah, she's dope too, man. Yeah, shout out Day Low. I fuck with Day Low. Yeah, yeah she dope.